Hi fellow travelers and your travel angel is back. We're now inside uh, Grand Canyon. All right, so we're inside the Hoppy House. So the Grand Canyon that you now see today was carved Hey, it's me, your travel angel. So we are back on the road again and we're heading to Grand Canyon National Park. It's, well, our first time to visit the Grand Canyon, but I found some information on the web on how to explore the park. However, still, your experience, my experience, or someone else's experience is gonna be different. I am here to give you or to share tips and advice on how to explore the park in terms of where to stay, where to go, where to eat, you know, things like that. So stick around and let's get to it. And we're heading to our hotel in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is about six hours drive from Palm Springs, California. So we just stopped by Racing Canes to grab some quick lunch. So this is our favorite. We always get this, the best chicken fingers. Cheers. Yum. <laughs> First up, Sedona. By car, Sedona is less than an hour from Flagstaff, Arizona. So we're here at 89 Agave Cantina. So we got the fajitas with shrimp and steak. And I also have this margarita. Cheers! It's good. So, how much did we spend? We made it to our hotel. We're here at Hilton Garden. This is in Flagstaff, Arizona. And we picked this hotel because it's not too expensive. It's only $94 plus tax per night. What else? Breakfast is not free, but parking is free, which is a good thing. We always choose a hotel with free parking because it helps us save a lot of money. And we always like to try uh, restaurants or our local coffee shop whenever we travel. So it's all good. So we have two queen beds, one for me and one for Edward. How about that? <laughs> and there's a television. And let's take a look at the bathroom. Nice. It's also nice and clean and it's bright. That's what we love. I like a bathroom that's bright. It's time for us to hit the bed. We'll see you tomorrow because tomorrow is the day we will explore the Grand Canyon. See ya! Good morning, fellow travelers. So it's day two of our Grand Canyon trip. So we're about to get some breakfast. And by the way, the drive from our hotel to the Grand Canyon is gonna be one hour. And we're also heading to the South Rim entrance of the Grand Canyon because according to the NPS website, they said that the North Rim entrance is closed right now. And that's most likely because of the pandemic but uh, the park is actually open. The North Rim is open, but it's gonna be open during the day only. So just so you know. All right, so I'll see you later. We'll just get something to eat. And we found this breakfast place near our hotel. I got the Belgian waffle with bananas, strawberries, and whipped cream. It was delicious. You'll definitely savor every last bite. Then, Edward got the corned beef hash. We're now inside Grand Canyon National Park and we just entered through the South Rim entrance. And guess what? It's actually free today because it's Veterans Day. On a regular day, if you're gonna pay the entrance, it's gonna be $35, which is good for seven days. I recommend if you're visiting national parks, uh, if you go to the website of National Park Services or nps.gov, you'll see different parks there like Joshua Tree, Cabrillo National Monument, Sequoia Park, and Grand Canyon National Park, you know, if you're gonna visit all that in one year. So I recommend that you buy the annual pass. 
so I think it's like a hundred dollars so but it depends on which part you want to visit but yeah so today is free I guess holidays or national holidays if you visit a park a national park it's gonna be free so we're just looking for a parking spot I can't wait to see the Grand Canyon so the Grand Canyon that you now see today was carved or formed nearly six million years ago back then this land right here was submerged in water there used to be an ocean here and the water would come and go and over time the seawater created minerals such as sandstone mud limestone and more there's also the red rocks which is the dominant color you see and that is due to iron the grand canyon was formed by erosion over millions maybe billions of years ago by the colorado river before this land right here was full of mountains and experts say that it was as high as the modern himalayas what exactly can you do and see here fyi this is for the no hiking activity let's talk about the south rim which is the most popular spot here at the grand canyon and make sure to bring a sweater or a jacket as it gets a little bit chilly up here believe it or not it actually snows around this time here and i believe october or november is the best time to visit the grand canyon because it's not too hot and not too cold either oh if it's your first time here it is recommended that you get a pocket map You can start your tour at Mather Point. Prepare for a spectacular view of the Grand Canyon. Make sure you have enough memory on your phone or camera because you'd want to take a lot of pictures of this incredible sight. Or you can simply walk around. But make sure to stop and enjoy the experience as well. By the way guys if you are getting value from this video hey consider subscribing and make sure to click the bell to get notification from my channel and also you can check out the time codes and other information in the description below and only a few minutes walk from Mather Point is the Yavapai Geology Museum it's a small museum but it will definitely pique your interest I highly recommend that you visit the Yavapai Geology Museum, especially if you want to understand and get more information about the Grand Canyon. Then, enjoy a nice view of the Grand Canyon inside. Plus, when it gets cold outside, you can warm yourself up for a few minutes inside the museum. And you can also grab a souvenir here. Now, from Mather Point, let's head over to the village. You can park at Verkamp's Visitor Center. FYI, you can find restrooms and drinking water in all visitor stations, hotels, or campgrounds. First stop is the historic Happy House. Alright, so we're outside the historic Happy House. So why don't we check it out and go inside? All right, guys, so we're inside the Hopi House, which was built by the Hopi tribe back in 1905. Now it's a museum. You can see uh, a collection of Native American art and more. 
Let's take a look around. The Hobby House is actually a gift shop, but it offers museum quality artifacts. It's also a replica of the 10,000 year old Pueblo house of the Hopi village. Here's a fun fact Pueblo is a Spanish word meaning town or village. Now we're checking out this famous historic landmark, and this hotel right behind me is located on the rim of the Grand Canyon, and it opened its doors to its guests in 1905. It's actually a luxury hotel, and basically it's a high-end hotel back in the day. Let's go inside. I love the rustic feel of El Tovar Hotel, and you'll feel the history in this place as well. You can even stay in one of the rooms overlooking the canyon. All right, so the building you see behind me is the Bright Angel Lodge. The Bright Angel Lodge. It was built in 1935 to accommodate the middle class. The Bright Angel Lodge is still open to its guests today. Bright Angel Lodge also has a rustic design. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the canyon if you stay in one of the cabins here, but it's a great location, only steps away from the rim. There's also Bucky's Cabin, which is the oldest building on the South Rim. It was built by William Bucky O'Neill. Today, the cabin is now part of the Bright Angel Lodge. Situated on the edge of the South Rim is the Lookout Studio. It's a small gift shop with an amazing viewing area, which is limited to five people at a time. The terrace has telescopes for an added experience to its guests. Here's a fun fact. The Lookout Studio is one of the six structures at the Grand Canyon that were designed by architect Mary Coulter. Well, you've seen two of them, the Hobby House, and Bright Angel Lodge. And the others are Hermit's Rest, Phantom Ranch, and Desert View Watchtower. Now, if you get hungry, you can drive a few miles to the Market Plaza. There's a general store where you can do a little bit of grocery shopping. You can also buy food at the Canyon Village Deli. We actually bought wine so Edward and I can celebrate. And here's a bonus for you. It's time to try another local coffee shop. I always love to start my day with a cup of joe. And so we found this coffee shop located on the historic Route 66. It's called Matador Coffee Roasting Company. And they've been serving Arizona since 2005. And I got the Irish Cream Latte. Their Irish cream is not too sweet. And there's a hint of cocoa and vanilla as well. It's day three of our Grand Canyon trip and it's time for us to head back home but I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and if it's your first time here hey consider subscribing and make sure to click the bell to get notifications whenever I would post a new content all right and you can also follow me on Facebook Instagram and Pinterest and my handle is at angels video diary you can also um, subscribe to my blog that's www.mypurplepages.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember, continue to spread positivity, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. So I made it. Yay! I just want to remind you in case you're visiting the park.